So you mentioned that your parents had a tough time in school. Um, I want to, I want to, I'm not sure how much you know about that, but what I've seen is that the parents that um, are most likely to con consider an unschool environment uh, or pulling them out are ki parents whose kids are really, one, the kids are really struggling, but the, usually those kids are 13, 14 years old. A yeah. lot of damage has happened at that point. And parents who are more creative and or they have had such a terrible experience that they're like, there's no, like you said, there's no way I'm going to put my kid in that environment. Can you give us a little bit of background of what was the motivation for your parents and like what, what their experience was that caused them to, to, to do this? Yeah, sure. Um, my dad was a slow reader in school. It took him a little while to get to, uh, to reading. And so because of that, he was like put in remedial classes. He was bullied. He was made fun of. He was made to feel oh. stupid. And like, he's a genius. He's a great, uh, incredibly talented man. He uh, was a vice president of graphic design at Cartoon Network for years, made lots of money, highly successful career, but like never really shook this kind of lack of self-confidence that he got from people telling him he was stupid in school because he took a little longer to read, right. uh, which is ridiculous. And then my mom was very gifted academically, but I guess you'd call her a nerd, not one of the popular kids. And so she suffered, suffered a lot socially in school and had a real problem with that. And just both of them, just didn't have a good time. They hated it and they felt they were made to feel bad about themselves and who they were. And they're both like the incredible people. I love my parents so much and I think so highly of both of them. Um, but it's just a shame that they're, they're put through that and made to feel bad about themselves when they really shouldn't be. Well, and I think you're right that that, that is a long tail on that, on that experience. I, I talked to, I've talked to parents who, when they're talking about their kids in school, they are, they are physically, tight and emotionally um, uh, just, you know, bothered because their, their, their experience, the parents were so terrible that now they're just deathly afraid of their kid going through similar stuff. This sort of thing is, is actually really common. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite amazing. So, wow, that's, you know, I'm, I'm glad that your parents had to go through that so that they could actually see that there's another way, but uh, it's too bad though that they had to do that. And I know a lot of people in that situation. I know I used to have a coworker who was very, very bright, could see, teach himself anything on like just watching YouTube videos, but well, it's not like classically academically successful yeah. in school, yeah. in public yeah. school. And so he had this self image of himself that, that he was stupid. And I would always say, you're not stupid. You taught yourself video editing from scratch by watching YouTube videos and you're great at it. Like, that's not stupid. How can you possibly think that? But you know, you get that self image of yourself and it makes it hard to, to move past it. Absolutely. 